All right, coach, welcome to the RPO Lab. My name is Coach Sosha, and on behalf of Chalk Talk with Exo Clinics, I welcome you guys here tonight. Uh, we've got a quarterback run empty um, box spacing RPO coming for you here in a second. Uh, but before that, I want to talk to you a little bit about the RPO Lab and really what's inside the lab right now. So there's a number of different resources for coaches, a wide variety of RPOs and things that you guys can look at and study and see if it applies to what you're doing. And a lot of it's going to apply to what you're doing. Um, and I'll also talk about, you the, uh, talk about the drills that will be coming your way here soon So as well. So, you know, inside the lab right now, you know, there's a bunch of, uh, there's a wide variety of, uh, of RPO studies. The counter plus one RPO study, a pop pass study, power and counter RPOs, a stick draw study, second level RPOs, a slice arrow RPO study, an outside bubble RPO or gift, an outside bubble complement RPO off of that uh, our outside bubble. And then really some various videos of other RPOs and, and different things that we're going to continue to bring, you know, to continue this out this uh, throughout this off season and into the summer. So again, that kind of just gives you a preview of what's inside the RPO lab. The next thing we're really excited to bring you guys is our RPO drills. This is something you're going to want to get your hands on and, and get your team using here in the off season into the summer and then into training camp. Uh, we've got seven drills coming your way. Most of them are on the site right now. You know, you can see the rapid fire gift drill, zone read plus bubble, gift inside zone RPO bubble drill, apex or second level plus one drill, the stick draw drill, rapid fire RPO drill, and then the team RPO drill. So some excellent drills, you know, that really simulate everything you're doing in the RPO game. You know, we've we've searched for, for drills and, and as a coach, you know, I've looked, you know, a lot of different places. I've researched with a lot of coaches and trying to figure out what guys are doing. But really we, we came up and designed these drills and collaborated on, on what uh, we really needed to simulate so our players are getting a lot of reps and we're just repeating and repeating and it just becomes second nature and very natural to our offense and you know most of these drills are going to give you guys a lot of reps and all your skill guys are going to get work from your quarterback and and running back mesh work to your timing with with the routes whether you're throwing gifts or you're throwing post snap rpos there's going to be a ton of drills here for you guys so be sure to check that out so we'll get on to the video here tonight Okay, so tonight we're going to talk about an empty bunch quarterback run uh, box spacing RPO. So, you know, I know a lot of guys, as you know, we talk about game planning and, and, and I would tell you this, in our game planning checklist, we always talk about empty and, and can we get an empty and can we take advantage of something that the defense is showing us? So most of the time when you're dealing with empty, you know, from a game planning standpoint, you know, you're going to deal with some teams that say, hey, this is our check to empty and it's a six man pressure. So you're going to game plan to that six man pressure. And then you're going to have teams that might have a variety of things that they're going to do. And then you got to be able to have a check with me system and, and, and you got to have a, a really thought out, calculated plan on how you want to attack a defense when you're an empty and really just educate your quarterback. But I think, you know, most defensive coordinators are going to have a, a really thought out plan. They're going to have a check and what you see on film and what you've studied uh, with their uh, empty plan is pretty much, I think, what you're going to see. So, you know, with the six-man pressure, you're going to want a game plan to that, whether it's really just throwing the ball quick or screen game or just staying away from it altogether. And then, obviously, you know, a, a softer zone, you know, with, with a, with a five-man box, probably going to be one high. And then you might even see a... Uh, a soft zone, what we would call four and a half man box, where you're seeing these linebackers that are hipped. So again, you know, if you're going to game plan RPOs, you're going to want to lean on really those those you know two and three right there when they're playing soft and it's a five man box or a four and a half man box. And really, we just call our favorite you know um, run play to to a five man box. So you know, just a basic at the four down. You know, we're going to look at the spacing with the slide of the linebackers. And we're going to just go attack that. So as I look at this, really what we're doing with this, you know, it's really those two guys. We're going to attack the edge of the box. So if those guys are going to want to stay inside the box and defend the box, we're going to take advantage of that space just on the edge of the box. You know, if those guys are going to play wide, we're going to run the football and we're going to feel like we're going to have good numbers running the football right there. So really that's what we're trying to do with this. So really... Again, this empty bunch quarterback run box spacing is what um, we're calling it. And again, it's a game planning thought process in terms of if we're going to get an empty, 
this is something that we're going to probably want to run, you know, and, and educate our quarterback on, you know, it's really just like throwing stick draw. He's just the runner here. So, you know, in terms of the run game here, you know, what, what we would draw up here is, you know, if we're going to run at the three technique, we're, we're, we would base that, we would base that, we would block back, and then we're going to pull this guy up for the will. We will base that, and we're really going to book this guy. But really what I'm going to study here as the quarterback and educate our quarterback is really the edge of the box. You know, these guys that want to hip the edge of the box, where's my best spacing? You know, and, and the other guys out here, you know, this guy's probably going to run a must outside release. This guy might run, run a stop route to horizontally stretch that guy and probably going to have a must outside release right there. But again, with this, I think it's an excellent concept. You know, again, you know, we, we've talked a lot about game planning and, you know, is this a first down call? Is this a second and 10 down call? Um, you know, but again, it's very specific to your empty game plan and seeing what the defense is going to present. But I think it's a, a really good RPO slash quarterback run game that's an easy install from week to week. So again, be on the lookout. If you like the video, please give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube, and be sure to check out the RPO lab.